I've never had a girlfriend. I'm 18 and I've not gotten laid. You look in the mirror and you ask yourself, do I have an attractive face? Do I have an attractive body? And if not, how can I? How can I have an attractive face? You ask yourself this even though you do the habits such as sleep in until midday. You eat the junk food, you don't exercise, and with the moment you see any sort of fit, attractive lady on the internet, you just spontaneously bust. You do all of this, yet you wonder why you're not attractive. If you just related to anything I just said, this video can literally change your life. I'm going to go through five key points, and each one kind of uh, relate to one another, so stick to the end because all of them are significantly important. Each one will significantly have a big impact on your life. I'll go through this as quickly as possible since <laughs> you probably have a really shit attention span. You probably have a terrible attention span. If you can't get to the end of this video, then you have a dog shit attention span. So I'll go through this as quickly as possible. Starting with the first point, get a haircut. Okay, one, you want to stop doing all the bad habits that you're doing. If you haven't had a haircut in months, you haven't cut that beard in literally forever, get a haircut. And you might you might be like me. What I would have said is, oh, but I'm growing out my hair. I want to look like, you know, those buff, long-haired guys at the gym, like Aquaman and stuff. I don't know who the actor for Aquaman is, but you want to look like them. Bro, do you think they don't have haircuts? Yeah, of course they have haircuts. They just go to like specifically like barbers that are specified for long hair for guys. So they specify for cutting long guys' hairs. So you go up to them and you can just be like, oh, can I have a scissor cut, taper, just make it a little bit more tidy. A middle part, I, I still like the long hair look. And they'll be like, yeah, 100%, we specify in that. And they'll do just a scissor cut and it just makes it look more tidy. Not only that, but 90% of guys have proven and said that after they've gone a haircut they feel so so much more confident and i wasn't I, I didn't know if i believed this so i recently got a haircut but i recently got a haircut just to prove this fact holy shit it's true literally the moment i walked out of the barbers i just went oh my god i am the king of the world i can conquer everything so first of all get a haircut right just go to any sort of like just search up in your area like long haired barbers for like guys and just get a haircut literally could be just small just to tidy things up and you will feel so confident afterwards and not only that you will look schmexy number two and i'm going to try and go through this as quick as possible because this is quite a big category and it's take care of your body yeah that's kind of broad that that includes a lot of different things such as skincare take care of your hair take care of your face take get sunlight onto your skin like it's kind of a big topic so i'll try and go through as quickly as possible right dude get a skincare routine don't turn around and be like oh my god that's that's womanly oh have a skincare routine wear perfume that's not a manly thing to do you are not going to get laid if you think going up to a woman having acne terrible skin greasy skin greasy hair you smell like shit you think that you're going to get laid yeah but it's manly well, okay, it could be manly, but you're not getting laid, so... Look, literally, this stuff is, like, proven to be beneficial in, like, being attractive, right? Get a skincare routine. First of all, just test out what skin type you have. You either have oily, dry, or combined. And the best way to do this is just to get, like, a thin piece of tissue paper and just dab it on, like, the sides of your face. If the tissue paper comes out oily or dry, that's what you have, oily or dry. And if you have combined, then like parts of your face will be dry, parts of your face will be oily. And then just buy products for that. So buy like, buy any sort of like face wash for when you're in the shower. The, your best bet is just to go for charcoal ones. That's what I have and get like a silicone scrubber. Doesn't really matter, but a silicone scrubber would be best because it cleans your face the best. That, or you can just use your hands. Uh, and then buy whatever products like works for your skin. So for me, I've got these exfoliating pads because I have really oily skin. And uh, this is literally, it literally in the description, suitable for all skin types, but especially oily and combination skin. Just because this cleans your face. If you've got oily skin, your skin's quite hydrated, but it's quite greasy, it's quite oily. So you need to clean it, otherwise it's gonna block up your pores and stuff. 
Whereas if you have quite dry skin, you probably need to hydrate it more. So you probably need to get more moisturizers and stuff. And if you're buying moisturizers, try and get some that has like sunscreen protection. Because the next thing is you want to get as much sunlight on your face, on your skin, on your body. Not only does it get rid of those under eye bags, but it makes your skin look clearer. Just it's more healthy. All right, getting sunlight and vitamin D into your body makes your skin clearer. You don't have acne and it just makes you look way more, way more healthy. So try and get that. So you want to get some sort of sunscreen protection, but if you can get moisturizers that have that inbuilt, which is two in one, it's helpful. And the third one is probably your hair. Like you probably just have, if you're using like a bar of soap to wash your hair, then that's concerning. Just get like shampoo, uh, get conditioner, which you can use on the ends of your hair. Like you can do that like once a week. That's not really a mandatory thing. Cause for me, I don't really use conditioner cause I have really thick hair. So I don't really, actually that means I need it more, but I don't really need it. Like I shampoo my hair, but what is helpful is knowing what products to use for your hair. If you have really, really thin hair, then you probably want a sort of like gel or pomade, like any sort of hair product that gives your hair a little bit more thickness. Probably powder is probably one of the best ones you could get for that, that give you a little bit more thickness. For me, I've got very straight hair, very thick Asian straight hair. So I need something that gives it a little bit more texture. Otherwise my hair just looks floppy. So just buy one of everything and just try it on your hair and just see what works. It's yeah, that's a little bit expensive buying one of every single product, but in the long run, you'll know what product you want to buy every single time. So you won't have that sort of like nervousness at the back. Oh, what product should I get this time? Like you just know. So take care of your body, right? It's important. Have all these aspects like smell nice, look good, take care of your hair, take care of your skin, because honestly, a woman is not going to want to sleep with you. Otherwise, if you have really dry, chapped lips, like dry, dead skin on your lips, no woman is going to want to kiss those. Women. Like who wants to kiss dry, chapped like lips? So after you brush your teeth, just like brush your lips to get rid of all that dead skin and then put like a tiny bit of Vaseline on it. Just like a tiny, tiny bit, just to give it a little bit more like niceness, you know? It doesn't look so dry or dead. If you put too much Vaseline, you'll end up with like porn star lips. Definitely didn't learn that the hard way. Definitely didn't learn that the hard way. Definitely didn't go a month with just porn star lips and didn't realize it. <laughs> Number three, your diet. Look, one of my favorite, like my favorite, like quotes of life. You are what you eat. Not literally, like I eat pussy, so I'm a pussy. <laughs> not, not literally, like what you eat affects how you feel and affects how you are during your day. So if you've got the guy who's eating pizza and junk food all day, he probably feels like a sloppy sack of shit. However, you've got the guy who's cooked his own meals and it's not processed foods. He's eating like healthy foods. He probably feels a little bit more productive and healthy than the guy who's eating junk food. So the best thing that you can do as a start, you don't need to know like, what what calories should I eat? Oh, what, what, what this has got too much fat. Like, don't, don't stop worrying about that just yet. The best thing you can do is just buy single ingredient stuff. Now that basically what that means is just buy food that doesn't have an ingredients list because you, it doesn't need it. Literally like chicken, like just go to the butchers and buy chicken. That doesn't have an ingredients list. It's just chicken or like go buy potatoes. That doesn't have an ingredients list. It's just potato. Also potato is amazing. You could live off that for like the rest of your life. Wouldn't recommend it because it, you know, tastes like shit, but like, you know, potato is amazing. Uh, love myself a spud and all like just buy like carrots right that hasn't got ingredients it's just carrots and then just cook all of this together that's a meal chicken potato carrots season it that's it you've got a full good delicious meal there and it's none of that is processed that is instantly a hundred times better than the stuff that you're eating now and that will make you feel a hundred times better than how you are feeling now and not only that you'll look so much healthier right you're eating healthy foods and not only that, you're not going like, I'm eating salads all the time. No, you're just eating a balanced diet that's not processed. That's it. And that's already a hundred times better than what you are now. So you'll look way better. However, diet is important, but it goes hand in hand with exercise. Yup. Number four, you knew this was going to be here. Workout. Exercise. You knew you, this was going to be on here. 
sorry, but there's no way around this. You might click off the video right now because like, oh no, I have to go to the gym. But you might instantly click off and because you have a terrible attention span as well. Look, there is no way around this. And I cannot tell you the amount of benefits that it comes with from working out. But I'm going to. Honestly, working out, not only do you feel more confident in yourself, in your body, if you start doing like, you know, you start fighting, you start doing uh, mixed martial arts, you start going to the gym, you feel so confident in your body, you walk with your shoulders back, you just feel confident in every stride. Not only do you look better from starting to go to the gym, lift weights, exercise, it affects your jawline. I don't know how many people like say this, but it's not a common thing to know. When you start going to the gym, your jawline starts to improve. Your jawline instantly starts to improve just by going to the gym. Like, honestly, it was the weirdest thing. Like, I used to have, like, a terrible jawline. I used to have, like, the full-on, like... <laughs> but now, I actually have a jawline. And it literally, I didn't do any jawline exercises. It was just from going to the gym. Like, that was it. So, go to the gym, take research. I'll have, like, a gym routine going out when I have, like, when I'm bigger. So I have like a before and after, which I'll be super excited to do. Literally, going to the gym is so helpful. Look, if you want to look good in clothes, you got to look good naked first. That sounded really pubby, fuck. And that leads onto my fifth point, clothes. Look, I'm not talking about like, you don't need to go out and start buying like designer shit, Gucci, ooh, I need to get all these like, super expensive designer stuff. Mate, you have not got the money for that. <laughs> we do not have the money to buy thousand pounds of just clothes. Like I saw, I, I recently went into a store. It's like buy nice clothes. And there, it was over two grand for a bloody jacket. What? Over two grand for a jacket? I don't have the money for that. Honestly, don't go out and buy the most ridiculously expensive clothes. Just buy the best quality of what you're wearing now. Okay, so there are some clothes that like you look better in for guys. Some guys look just absolutely sexy in a suit. Actually, every guy does. It's a suit. Suits are fucking awesome. Like some guys look better in gym clothes. Some guys look better in like uh, suits. Obviously, where we are comfortable with. And if you are like going to the gym, you're starting to get bigger, then you look good in everything. Like, just, you, like I said, if you want to look good in clothes, look good naked first. Still really pervy when I say that but just buy the best quality stuff of what you're wearing. So like if you're into gym stuff, don't wear that skanky hoodie or those skanky joggers. Just buy a nice like tighter like gym shirt, you know, buy nicer jeans, nicer joggers, like buy good quality stuff. Not only does this make you feel so much more confident in yourself, it makes you look so much better than you are before. If you're wearing like the most grubby stuff, then obviously that's not attractive. Just. You don't need to go out and like spend hundreds of thousands of pounds, I don't know. Just buy nice quality stuff. Like just go out and just be like, oh, okay. Just go out to a store and just feel the quality of the clothes. And you're like, oh, okay. This isn't ridiculously expensive, but it's good quality. You know, so I, I can wear this for confidence. And if I get it dirty, then it's, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't wasted 500 pounds on a single bloody jacket. And that's it. Look, I love self-improvement so much because like self-improvement, the idea of it is just improving yourself just becoming the best version of yourself and this means improving yourself in every aspect of your life your mental health your physical health you're financially free you look you pay attention to how you look so you start improving it maybe that's the step out you're right now maybe you've been going to the gym maybe you've been working on that uh, business so you can be financially free maybe you've been working on your mental health maybe the next thing you need to work out is how you look you know, see how you can improve how you look, how to make yourself look more attractive for others. It's a natural thing to want to improve your aspects of life. It's why we go on video games, because we like the sense of progress, right? Hey, dude, I used to game all the fucking time. I love the sense of progress, but now I'm just leveling up my life attributes and becoming sexy rather than being a nerd. Like, you want to improve every aspect of your life, because if you have, like, things like if you have a chain that's like one link is a piece of string if you pull on that chain it's going to break instantly so you, you're only as strong as your wing, weakest link so you want to improve every aspect so yeah anyway hopefully this helped you out if you're on self-improvement you got this bro i believe in you now you just got to believe in you
Anyway, stay consistent. Do the best you can. Love you, bro. Mwah. Ooh. All right, I'm going to make myself some dinner. And if I just look at my script, point number three, have a good diet. So I am having chicken, potatoes, and broccoli. Oh, and none of it's processed. I'm going to eat this, and I'm going to sleep like a little baby.